Welcome. Uh, my name is Mohammad Kashif, and I'm your coach uh, uh, for the program that I have designed for you, which is increase your chances of passing PMP exam up to seventy percent. So, uh, what this exam have? Um, we will discuss this, but also I will tell you in advance that this uh, exam also have approximately three thousand questions. Uh, bank uh, reserve that you can go on the specific links and download uh, free of cost so this is very very good exam um, now by the way I am uh, PMP and RMP certified I have 15 plus 16 plus year of experience in project management construction management site management and I, I work mostly 10 year in same in Saudi Arabia so it's really good to advise you about this course so uh, why this course is unique uh, I have checked lot of online courses and I found there are gaps in these courses uh, this course is covering uh, all the gaps available uh, in the PMP courses and this course is especially designed to uh, to by taking the student's perspective so if you are a new student and uh, you want to start from scratch for example you don't know you want to do PMP now and you don't know which books to select from where you can buy it from where you can download the material what to do how to do from zero level from scratch level so you can uh, you have to uh, registered or you have to take this training this is really recommended which is uh, this the the things of uh, the taught in this training are really uh, you will not find this training uh, these things uh, online anywhere so another thing is uh, anyone who want to go for the exam in near future so now this is another aspect of the training that you, now if you have finished everything now you go want to go to exam you want to attempt the exam and you want to you are not sure whether you have to go for exam or no so I have discussed in it and how you have to prepare for the exam specifically mistakes what you are doing in your exam and how there are some tips uh, tricks and um, techniques by which you can pass the exam easily because this is not a normal exam it's a unique exam you might have not done it you have uh, not given it before okay so this is the second type of uh, source that they should uh, they should go for my course uh, another type is who have failed in their first or second attempt or in even third attempt they can go for this training and I will really explain them in detail that how they can pass the exam at the end okay tips and tricks of exam solutions for those who has following issues so some of our students they have started and now they are feeling they are weak in memory and want to pass the exam so my case I hate to memorize so what's the solution we will discuss also uh, some of the students who are weak in uh, math skills and want to pass the exam if you are not from math background so we will discuss how you can tackle this issue in our training if you are weak in scenario questions if you are weak in question reading and uh, how you can resolve this issue we will discuss in detail um, next uh, uh, another topic that we will be covering is um, we, I am mix. I am weak, and I am mixing different knowledge area. This is very common thing, and I will tell you why this is happening, and and how we can resolve it. Uh, feeling that have no grip in any subject in start of preparation or just before the exam, how to avoid? Is it normal? So we will discuss this scenario. This is this is a typical situation is happening in start or just before the exam. How to resolve this confusion? Uh, difficulty in memorizing knowledge areas, input, output tools and techniques. We will see how we can resolve this issue. Okay, I am weak in time management and can't finish question in time. I don't know what to do. This I will explain the solution in detail. Okay, another thing that we will discuss is I am feeling pressure that if what if I fail an exam, how to avoid I'm feeling embarrass embarrassment pressure so I will tell you the solution that the solution we already employed to avoid this uh, 
another thing that we will discuss is what to do if you have frequent start and stop of PMP preparations these are not really required but I will tell you how to avoid and what tools and techniques you can use it to minimize the issue okay another thing common issue reading PM book but can't understand feeling confused what's the reason and how we can close this issue how to attempt exam question in book or exam paper to get maximum success in exam there is also a technique how to attempt you have to use your exam papers just like money so this we will discuss you cannot uh, expend your money in the start of your studies so you have to discuss in detail okay uh, I'm I can't answer negate question keep on just writing the wrong answer so we will discuss this in detail how we can resolve this issue or what to do if uh, I don't have or very basic prior knowledge of project management so I have also solution to this a lot of our students are coming they are not very good in their background knowledge of project management so we have a solution we will suggest in this training what issue can arise for high memory exam takers that will result in failure of attempt of exam if you are very good in memory uh, you have a very good memory and you you have your uh, answering all questions very fast so and uh, some of these students do fail so this is really a strange thing but it's happening unfortunately and we will discuss this how we can avoid this issue so this is uh, so far uh, our uh, training so this training is a really unique training and uh, it have all the unanswered questions answered and I really suggest to take this training uh, either you are want to start from scratch you are in the middle or if you want to give the exam or you are failing your first time this really will make the difference so using these certain techniques tricks make a good study plan good study material it will increase your chances up to 70 percent or maybe more uh, to to pass the exam mostly the difference of failing the exam might be one question maybe or maybe 10 percent of 15 percent percent you're you're failing so these things really do make the difference pmp exam is a unique exam and you have to have some special techniques that you can use to to uh, really solve the issues thank you very much and